And welcome back. Well, this is the cover of the February issue for Milwaukee Magazine. This month highlights some of the city's best hot spots at night. Yeah, we're here now with the editor-in-chief, Carol Nixon, from Milwaukee Magazine. Love it when you're here, because then I feel Good like I know a little bit about what's going on. Oh. And actually, you have a tip to share with us. We were talking about hair static. That's my big complaint with, with hair this time of year. Yes, I, I, I use a natural brish, bristle brush. It's hard to say. It is. Yeah. Uh, but um, it, it kind of collects the oil from your hair and then redistributes it so uh -huh. that you get fewer fly flyaways. There well, you like go. That. A natural bristle brush. Like boar yes. hair, like oh, a yes. boar's hair brush. Yes, yeah, that's exactly. good stuff. Love Thank it. You. All right, let's talk about what's going on in the February issue of Milwaukee I want Magazine. My cocktail first. Yeah. 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 Where's Carol <laughs> Froding? <laughs> Bring it over, guys. <laughs> well, actually, one of the things I, I this was a really, really fun issue to put together. And one of the things I like best about the story is it's not all about drinking. It's about uh, activities and entertainment and all the, uh, there's so many things going on in Milwaukee. I almost get exhausted thinking about it. <laughs> yeah. I bet. I bet. I like this focus though, Carol, because I do think it's a common complaint for people, mm -hmm. whether they live here or they're visiting, is that there's not a lot to do after even like nine o'clock. No, there's a lot to do. You're just not looking. You have right. to pick up the issue. Apparently. So, um, we could start with music. Um, okay. There's um, one of my favorite places to go see music is the back room at Collectivo. Mm -hmm. Now that might be because I'm of a certain age and I can <laughs> sit down and sort of enjoy it like this. Yes. But they get um, a lot of uh, indie uh, musicians and, and big names, but not big enough perhaps to fill up you know, a, a huge theater like mm -hmm. this. Um, so that's a great place to go see music. Um, dancing, now I haven't done this. I yet. got my favorites for dancing. What? Whiskey bar. Oh, oh yeah, that's cool. I thought you were the downtown? only place I dance in town. I really? thought, man, yes. plan it. Unless you want to wear a mini dress, that's the only place you can go. And I'm not wearing any mini dresses anywhere. Well, I have to go there. <laughs> we, we have to pull the magazine back and yes. get that in there. What yeah. did you put? <laughs> my yeah. guess is you picked plum. Is that one? No. Oh, my uh, goodness. We should okay, where else? else? Uh, well, we, we picked Kaczynski's Concertina, okay. which I've not been to, but, you know, polka dancing. Or these are fancy Hangover. dancing. Oh. <laughs> yeah. We're talking different kinds of dancing. But, but we also um, have Lucid, which I think is mm -hmm. more fancy dancing. Um, and then we have Victor's, which... Oh, that's hilarious. You know there's a nickname for that one. No. Oh, I won't say oh. it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, the first time I went to Victor's, and actually the only time, um, I felt like I was in a Quentin Tarantino movie because it's, you know, all yes. mirrors. I thought, where's John Travolta? There's yeah. going to be a contest. But yeah. yeah. It's a Those fun place to dance, and they do a lot of, like, 80s, and I'll even hear ABBA there, which is hilarious, yeah. Yeah. I think. It, okay, so um, what do you think makes the nightlife in Milwaukee different? Well, I mean, you know, I came from New York, so right. there the nightlife is in your face and all the time, and here you have to seek it out. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, I think that that's one of the, um, one of the nice things about it. It's a little quirky, um, but just as you proved, there's a lot of it, and, and even with 56 different things to do, we did not get all of them. Yeah, because there's <laughs> like so that. much going on. There really is a lot going on. And that's one of the things I think Milwaukee has to boast about is the charm and some of the you know interesting things going on. How about comedy? I know you've got some comedy too. Well, we have comedy sports is one that I'm is mm -hmm. on the top of my list. Um, Love they comedy do sports. Improv. Um, and uh, my favorites, I really like to go see Ex Fabula. Have you yeah. seen them? No, I've I not seen that. Oh my gosh. Well, it's a little bit like The Moth. So it's a mm -hmm. storytelling group. But anyone can tell their story, and so, you know, some of them are really funny, and some are tearjerkers, and, and it's just a slice of life, and then you get to vote. It's really fun. Yeah, and it is also fun. also named the, the best fish fries. Um, I want you to share a few of those, but also hit your top five. Well, top five. I mean, well, first of all, the first, um, first fish fry, I, I, that's another hard thing to say. First fish fry I went to <laughs> when I um, arrived in Milwaukee was the lakefront. Mm -hmm. uh, be, um, brewery. Yes. Okay. And that one is delicious, particularly the cod. Um, and then they also have live music and, and the little kids get up and dance. It's like you're at an old Polish wedding. It's very great. much. Mm -hmm. um, the one I really want to try is Wagner's St. Martin's Inn in mm. Franklin. Oh, okay. Um, they're supposed to have amazing perch. Okay. Um, I love perch too. And one of the interesting things that our dining critic Ann Christensen did with the story was she sort of dissected what makes the perfect fish fry. And so, you know, it's not just the fish, but if you it's get it. It's the potato pancakes. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. And not every place offers a potato pancake, but when you do, it's a great bonus. And a good tartar sauce. Good tartar sauce, a good coleslaw, and then, you know, you're golden, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. That's 
fantastic. Do you want to do your top five really quick because we were out of town? Oh, okay. Um, well, Wegner's Lakefront, Herb's Mug, Fritz's Pub, more tongue okay. twisters, and then I really want to try the St. Anthony's. Uh, it's a church fish fry only during Lent and Menemone Falls. Oh, that's Fun. cool. I'm glad you picked a church. That's Those cute. are awesome. Yeah. They're also like Legion Halls. Um, American Legion. Oh, American yeah, Legion. There's one real ones. close to the station, actually, that, that does a fish fry. I thought of yeah, you, Yeah, right, right, right around the corner. Yeah, park. because yeah. of your connections. So yeah. That's, that's We've awesome. We've listed a few of those, too. So. You guys have great stuff. Yeah, you talked about spots for food, for drinks, for entertainment, like dancing. There's also comedy clubs and fish fries. I think you guys hit it all. It's a wonderful um, issue, and you can check it out now but first we also want to mention that you've got this great event mm -hmm. that's happening Monday February 13th doors open at 6 the event is at 7 it's at the back room which you yes, mentioned yes, right yes, at yes, Collectivo yes. Coffee it's just $10 and there's a special guest there it's um, somebody named Luke Cerny right yeah it, but the, the main event is that it's a panel discussion we've created these events to bring the magazine to life and so you get to come and discuss the story this is branding in Milwaukee and yeah, it's, it, the last one was super fun and I hope everyone comes. That's All right. awesome. And you Milwaukee Nightlife, MilwaukeeMag.com is a February issue. You can pick it up and check it out. All right, we got a little treat for you too. Yeah, great. Here you come. Oh, thank oh, you. Oh, yay. Thank you. We got our amazing cupcakes. Oh, our cupcakes. That's so nice. Thank you. Bistro Z. All right, way to go. I like it.